In Excel, you can add drop-down lists on a worksheet so that it's easier for people to enter the data. Here we'd like to have a drop-down list of customer names. In most cases, you would have your list in the same workbook where you're going to have the drop-downs. But in this example, we've got the list in another workbook and we'd like to use it without putting that same list in this workbook. The drawback with this method is that both workbooks have to be open when you're using the drop down list. So if you want to add your customers here, you would also have to have this other workbook open while people are selecting customer names. To set this up, the first step is in this workbook where we have our list of customer names, I'm going to name this list of cells, selecting from B2 to B4. The quickest way to name this would be to type in the name box. So I'll just click here and type a one word name and I'll call this C-U-S-T-N-A. M -E. And to finish the naming, I'll press the enter key. The next step will be to create a name in this workbook where we're going to have the drop downs and the name in this workbook will refer to the name that we created in the other workbook. For this one, we can't just type in the name box. We're going to go to the formulas tab and click define name. And then we'll type a one word name for this and I'm going to call it my cust list. The scope is workbook. We don't need any comments here. For the refers to, it's just picked up the address of the active cell. So I'll delete that and type a formula that refers to the name in the other workbook. So starting with an equal sign, we're going to type the name of the workbook and we can see it up here in the title bar. Data val wb dot xlsx. Then an exclamation mark and the name of that range, which we called cust name. And to finish this, click OK. So now we've created a name in here. And now the data validation that we're going to use here, we will refer to that customer list. So on the data tab, this button is data validation. And I'm going to allow a list here. And the source is the name we just created in this workbook. So an equal sign, and then my cust list and OK. So when we click that drop down arrow, we can see the names that are in the list in the other workbook. And when you're using this method, both of the workbooks have to be open while you use these drop down lists. For written instructions, you can go to the Contextures blog and there is a link if you're on YouTube in the description below.